Disney's Big Hero 6, the official US trailer uh, from the people that gave you Frozen and all those other Pixar Disney type movies, I believe. There's one more they're advertising. Uh, sorry about that. A little distracting, I know. Today is uh, officially Frozen Day in Japan. The Blu ray just was released today. And I got my copy. I'm about to uh, check it out a little later. But all I can, from what I can tell, it looks sick and crisp in blue. Way. I've been waiting for that for quite some time. Here, let me turn it off and let's get into Big uh, Disney's Big Hero Six. Um, I don't. Oh, my remote got frozen. <laughs> uh, so, um, the first. Trailer, whatever I saw, the teaser trailer, I didn't like it. I thought the humor was just like, I mean, it's for little kids or whatever, or fans of that type. It, it just it seemed to be going a little too long. So, you guys emailed me, messaged me, Twittered me about it. Let's see what it's all about. Big Hero 6, pop me up. And let's see if this is going to be a little bit better. I hope so. And three, two, one. Let's go big. That's all I have. Sorry. <laughs> all right, let me get this straight. A man in a kabuki mask attacked you with an army of miniature flying robots. Microbots, B-Max, tell them. Yes, officer. Ah. Microbots. Yeah, he was controlling them telepathically with a neurocranial transmitter. Come on. I am not fast. Yeah, no kidding. Go, 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 go. So Mr. Kabuki was using ESP to attack you and Balloon Man. Hmm, I don't know about this humor. Especially for a trailer, it's... I know it sounds crazy, kid. How about we call your parents and get them down here? What? Write your name and number down on this piece of paper and we can help. We've got to catch that guy. But first, we're going to need some upgrades. Just tried to kill us. How cool is that? I mean, it's scary, obviously, but how cool! Oh. Whoa. What's wrong with you? Low battery. You home, sweetie? We jumped out a window. Who's that? We jumped out a window. I like the Ma Ma uh, Mazinger Z. Shout out. All right. Ah. Hello, I am Baymax. Hi. Okay, what? Okay. Uh, I, okay, I think most of you have watched, uh, seen enough of my reaction videos to already know what I'm already thinking before I say it right now. You can see the expression on my face. Um, you know, I'm thinking about Frozen and Wreck-It Ralph and, you know, these movies, when they came out, when the trailers came out, I remember watching them, they were not, you know, I don't even think I ever saw a trailer for Frozen, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if I saw any, I really don't think I've seen, I saw any trailer for Frozen. I just happened to already like the first time I heard about Frozen was when it won the like when it just swept the Academy Awards and got like it start it 
be, just gradually grew and grew. And then after that, um, even before that, there was this one meme that was getting passed around with um, the whole you can't just marry a man you, uh, you can't marry a man you just met and it showed all the Disney princesses <laughs> passed out <laughs> like uh, uh, face palming and such. And then somebody was like, it's about damn time, Disney. So, um, and then Wreck-It Ralph, which I really liked that movie, the trailers just didn't convince me that I was going to enjoy it. Same thing with Incredibles. All, like, so, something about Monsters, even Monsters, Inc., same deal, uh, which I enjoyed. I saw the movie I enjoyed, but it was the trailers that weren't doing it for me. Maybe it's probably because the trailers are advertising to a, com a completely different audience a different age bracket obviously and um that's it you know i'm always trying to spin a positive vibe on this and for those of you that are excited about seeing something like this go for it i guess but i guess uh, quite honestly i'm just gonna have to wait to um see what the reviews are when it comes out when people what people say about it if it's really really good and by but probably in all likelihood I'll just end up watching this movie on rental uh, just when it comes out for rent um, like almost almost every animated movie that's come out with uh, I wanted to I, the only movie I thought that was gonna be really cool animated one that I liked the trailer was uh, the Lego movie um, Mainly because Batman was in it, but the humor was really tight, and I did like that. But um, unfortunately, the animated version, like most animated movies here in Japan, they only released them in the Japanese language, which kind of annoys me. But I kind of understand why they do that. Unless you live in Tokyo, you can go see uh, the subtitle English words, English language, Japanese subtitle. So. So I'm rambling a bit and giving you more information than you really wanted to know. But anyways, Big Hero, that's what the name of the movie was, right? Big Hero 6. Um, whatever. I mean, the trailer, it's its not for me. That's for sure. And we'll see what happens when the movie comes out and see what the reactions are about that. And I'm sure there are a lot of hints. The one thing I wanted to do, mention for you guys here, which is very ironic because I think the third the th third third year anniversary of the Dark Knight Rises is coming out um, in the next couple of days. But there's one scene in the beginning. You, go rewind. You'll see my reaction where the he, the kid, whatever his name is, Hiro, probably. I don't know. <laughs> it's a toy man joke. Uh, look it up. There he was fighting the Kabuki mask guy, and they were on like a bridge or something. And completely reminded me of um, when Batman was uh, v fighting Bane and the Dark Knight Rises with the whole bridge. And um, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, I don't, I, that probably is just coincidental or everything in my life revolves around the bat. But that's that. Speaking of which, until the Batman vs. Superman trailer comes out via Comic-Con and it's not a leaked one or a fake one or whatever the case may be, as you have just seen, I shall keep my reactions honest. And to say, let the storm rage on, the cold never bothered me anyways.